know there was one more question I wanted to ask you. Um, I already talked to Laura about feeling some stitches. You said that that's normal. Um, yes. I've got on the front, I, I'll feel it, and I just want to make sure it's cool that they didn't dissolve or go away. Yeah. Um, is there anything, you know, we had talked about um, this technology I'm trying to use for the, for the healing and the pain management process that we've talked about. Um, my hope was, or my thesis was, in using this during this process that I would, um, A, be able to not use any pain medicine, which I was able to do. I mean, mm -hmm. I used some CBD oil and this, and that was it, yeah. never any narcotics. That's perfect. I know. So secondly, the healing process and that type of stuff, it seemed to be at least healing well from yeah, what you're seeing. Yeah. And so, but then the third part was the integration, the osseo integration. Yeah. You, you're saying at four months I come back and do that. What what could be the earliest we could test that out and really feel comfortable or no? Because I would like to know if they're integrating faster than normal. Because yes. we've got some of my past history okay. to, to kind of check. We, 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 I used to load all the implants at eight weeks. I'm talking about 10 years ago or 12 years ago. Okay, I used to load the implants eight weeks, always, okay? Because eight weeks is okay. I mean, you're mm -hmm. almost there, okay? But in some cases, you won't have like a very, I mean, like a high percentage of bone around the implant, and you may break that mm -hmm. connection because it's, it's, it's not completely mature, mm -hmm. okay? So, so some cases, you start working at that point, and because you have, imagine, imagine that you have 30, 31% of bone implant contact instead of 60. Mm -hmm. So yes, it's good, it's healed, and it's, there's no infection, but it's not strong enough to so withstand you, the torque exactly so right? maybe you took a spinning implant mm, uh, so wow. at that point there's no infection nothing we wait again the healing process but you broke those little connections mm. because it, it was a little bit early mm. so we prefer to wait at least three months okay some cases we do extra procedures like grafting huge extractions these and that so in those cases science lifting for example we do, we wait four months Okay, but three months is a good number. Okay, so, so but there's no way to know if it's osseo integrated unless you take the prosthesis out. Is that correct? I mean, we can have okay to to check if the implant is osseo integrated. You need three things. Okay, clinical evaluation. I mean, you may use clinical evaluation, radiological evaluation, and then we test it. For example, we have some devices that they measured. It's like a frequency mm -hmm. analysis, resonance frequency analysis of the implant, so, so we don't need to torque it, you know? We just measure this magnetism thing, you know? So we measure and we have a number of the stability of the implant, so we have an idea of that. So so we, we use clinically, yes, we check clinically, we see the soft tissue, we probe, we do whatever we need to do to see if everything is healing, there's no infection, mm. x-rays, and sometimes we use this, what we call this Austell, is is an ISQ measurement, you know, okay. implant stability quotient, that's the name. So with that is, is how we measure if the implant is integrated.